Oh, here we go. The rack video. I can't wait. Welcome back, guys. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be great. Welcome back. Uh, Peter is uh, is going to narrate. This is how you put it together. Now, here's the best part. Peter, <laughs> Peter's going to talk, and we can't hear him because you're sitting in the voiceover studio. But that's the last time I think we're going to see your mouth move. So, so this, this is, is what, the rack. Yeah, and this, what, this is what will arrive in your pack when you order a rack from us. Nothing's pre-assembled. It's all, but you have all the pieces there. Forget about those pieces of cardboard on the right-hand side. That's just to represent the uh, actual door panel. So there we have the bolts. These are the bolts that go through the rack that attach to the thing. This Correct. Is, these this are the nickel-plated uh, thingamabobs to hold the tire on. Nickel-plated right? studs, yep. And these polyurethane. Are, these are the urethane, uh, soft urethane um, feet. Yeah, seals, I guess. And these are the hard urethane uh, mounts. So so the soft urethane goes underneath the hard ones against the paint surface. All right, tell us about the bolts. You're pulling the bolts okay, out. Okay, so the bolts. So these are the short bolts. So this is for a right-hand carrier. The, the left-hand carrier sits out a little bit further, so it has longer bolts. Uh, they're probably half an inch to an inch longer. I forget the actual length. There should be two washers and a lock nut. Now, the washers, one goes on the head and one goes on the nut. The, there's no other location for them. Right. But they're not going against the metal. They're going against the hard urethane, right? They go against, kind of. They go against the metal on the outside, obviously, and they go against the urethane on the inside. Or the stiffeners, you will see. Right, okay. Actually, she has stiffeners in that picture. I think there's, well, maybe we add them later on. Yeah. So the these video. are the things that when you, when when you pick the tire up to mount it on the back of the thing, yep. that basically how the tire rests on there. There's no bolts, but that basically bolts into the, the rack. Yep. So you're not trying to balance this thing and, and sit it in. All right. Here's your soft uh, urethane. Oh, look yep. at that. You're actually demonstrating. And there's a, there's a shiny side and there's a ridge, and the ridge side is where the uh, hard urethane goes against. So the sh You'll shiny see. side against the paint. Yep. Is that the, and the long one? So the long one goes at the top on the inside. Right. Right. And then the two square ones go on the outside at the top. Okay. Just like that. So the long one inside, sh the square ones outside. Correct. And then you've got the, the bottom ones and they will be rhombus. What rhombus. is it called? Is it a rhombus? Is it that where it's reasonably a reasonably rectangular, obtuse, reasonably but, rectangular, yeah, and and so I, for, I forgot my geography. <laughs> yeah, geography, <laughs> geometry, I my age, geometry, and my history. You can tell you stayed in school. Uh, but here's anyway. the uh, here's the hard parts. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, geometry. Okay, these are the hard parts, right? So the thin ones are going to be on the inside, and the thicker ones are going to be on the outside. Just generally, that long one in my hand is going to be the inside upper. Right. Okay. Right. Inside upper on the inside, the upper yep. part inside the door. Match up with the part on the other These side. These are the thicker ones. So the thicker ones, the square ones, are going to be at the top. On the outside. Correct. Okay. And, and so I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I think what you're doing is you're trying to show that there's a, there's mystic properties with pyramids. Yep. We're taking our time through this. These are the thin inside ones for the bottom. You can see that they're a. They're not a square or a rectangle. We believe it's a rhombus. Yes, rhomboid. <laughs> we'll, we'll work that out afterwards and be embarrassed. It's a so. Ronald rhomboid. If we're wrong, don't shoot us down. He said shoot, by the way. He said don't shoot us down. It's that, it's that, uh, that don't, accent. That don't it flame us? What is it word. called online? What? Flaming? Flaming? Yeah, don't flame us. Flame us. Don't make us flame us. Okay, so the thin <laughs> ones go on the inside and the thick ones go on the outside. And as you can see, they're a different thickness. They are thicker on one side. I'm going to show you how this works momentarily. Yep. Yep. And that's where those little pieces, so you basically laid it out the way it should. Yeah, and the reason why these these here, you can see you quite good from the side there, you can see the angle. And the angle is to pick up the curvature of the door because the, the door is door. curved. Yeah, it's curved. It's a uh, convex shape. So the curve, they're actually positioned right how I have it. That is the bottom of the door, and it is a thicker part of the mount on the outside. And so therefore on the inside, so the opposite side to the bolt hole, it's right. going to be thick at the top and thin at the bottom. So Hopefully that makes now sense. Now you're grabbing the fake piece of van. So imagine yep. this, this is a piece of metal. 
this is representing the door so when you've got it mounted this would be what it would be lo like so as you can see the hard urethane soft urethane door soft urethane hard urethane and that's how it would be sandwiched together and the bolt would go right through the center so there's pretty much if we cut that's away pretty much band. it's not entirely how it how it goes because we add a stiffener on the inside Look at this camera but it is trying to get there so it's great camera work. Yeah, if you were looking through the van, that's what you would see. So what we I believe you pick up a bolt here. Yeah, we should have a bolt um, through there. If not, we'll go to a different stage. And I, I believe it shows us putting a bolt through it. So this is the top. Again, where it'll go. The hard urethane mount is the first thing that goes. Yep. Shiny against the paint. Shiny against the paint. And you'll see the ridge around the outside of the... Uh, if they want to just call you at home, Peter, can they do that? <laughs> if they just if they're stuck in the middle of their garage in Ohio, what do you say, garage? Garage. <laughs> can they just call you at home and uh, say, Peter, I'm stuck. Garage. It's a garage. <laughs> it's a garage. Anyway, so so, so the set out back to the, representing the door again, the, the piece of cardboard. Come on, I was going to give out your home phone <laughs> number. Why can't I do that? All right, so here we go. Triple we're, five, we're, triple five, chives. <laughs> All right, so okay. you're showing this. Bolt goes through. There's your hard plastic piece. Yep, absolutely. On the outside. And these ones actually hold on. They'll, they'll hold on to the bolt that's slightly smaller diameter. Right. So we're pushing it through, and then I'll put you've the cardboard. The, you've actually got the soft part on there, too, haven't you? you yep, you've yep. loaded them both on. Yep. Okay, and now you're going to show the This the, is where the, the door. Fan, yep, the this fan. is the door panel. So, so what you want to do is, is you want to, if you can, hold, um, put the rack on with this part of the um, mounts already ready assembled, pre-assembled. Yeah. yeah, and bolt it through. And then on the inside, you have somebody, a second person, reach into this tight spot. It is tight. And place this on and put the washer. Yeah, it's and put the washer in that. urethane, shiny against the paint. Hard, hard plastic, and then nut. Yep, and then so wind the nuts. Then nut. That's that's correct. And then you wind the nuts on, and then it'll hold the rack in place where you do everything else. Right to tighten it down. To tighten it down, yeah, yeah. The once you once you have these bolts, you know, once you have the nuts on, then uh, you can just let it hang there. It shouldn't uh, move around too much, and it's not going to fall off. Most importantly. So, so at this point, your rack is pretty much hanging from your the back of your van. Yeah, yeah, and there's a, it, it, it's tight. You know, there's a, there's in most of the vehicles there is a um, support that attaches the inside of the door skin to the outside, and so there's a piece of metal in the way. Right, there's your stiffness. But you can still get your hand behind it. This is this is me. Th I'm setting up the bottom at this stage upside down, but you guys get the drift. So it's the, a wedge. The so wide that's part of the rhombus. Yes, the wide part goes at the bottom. To the bottom. So bottom on the outside, and then it's the, it's the wide part and the thickest part. There's a urethane pad going on. This is representing the body panel. It's a white van in this case. <laughs> white it's a cardboard van. White cardboard van. You should ask for money back. I think you expected metal. We got cardboard. Right, Anyways. so then again, it's a shiny part against the paint? It'll be against the surface. It's probably <laughs> undercoat, <laughs> but the yeah, paint. same way, but... It, it, it's, a, it's actually the opposite way. It's thicker. No, the it's thick part, the, it's the wider parts on the bottom. Still. Dead right, dead right. It's wide at the bottom and thin at the top and... Oh, narrow at the top, sorry. But it's thin at the bottom and thick at the top. <laughs> Right. Just to confuse everybody. And these are the stiffness that come with the kit. As you good can see... placement the, uh, of the washer there. The washer goes inside. Now, this is a good time to say that we have another video that has us assembling this or putting this in. And you'll see how this all ties together. So this is the setup complete. It looks... And it's actually it pretty beautiful. close to position. It looks position. like the, the library at, uh, at UCSD. That's, yep. that's kind of what it looks like. Yep. So you're going to hold it up and show us that basically that's what it would look like if you could see through the van. 
Correct. Uh, that's so four, that's what it would look like. Of contact. Looking from the inside outwards, that's what it would look like. This is from the outside, obviously. Right. And these are the nickel-plated holders, if you will, that basically will yeah. you will balance your wheel on yep. uh, before you bolt it on. Correct. And these you talk down to approximately 40 foot pounds. I put a little bit of uh, anti seize on there so it doesn't get uh, rust, you know, there's no rust right. can form. Well, we're almost there. done. This is this. Now it makes more sense to me because I can see through the van and, uh, and see how it works. And, and, and it, it, it looks wonderful. So that's basically what it looks like. Peter, you're the man. Yeah, thanks, thanks everybody. And uh, check out the other videos.